Action camera gimbals are no new technology, providing the ability to use high-powered, small, wearable cameras as handheld rigs, smoothing out the resulting footage. Although if there weren't enough different models to choose from already, here's another to add to the mix, the iSteady Pro. The iSteady Pro by a Hohem really does need to do something special to differentiate itself from the competition, and it's not going to do that with the box contents, there's really not much included. Inside we find a hard shell carry case, decent quality mind, securely holding the gimbal unit itself as well as a USB charging cable, and a small tripod. That's a nice added touch and not something that's typically included with action camera gimbal systems. Perfect for attaching to the 3.5mm mount in the bottom of the unit, providing the ability to capture time-lapse footage for example with relative ease. It's a pretty decent tripod too, with a large footprint to make sure the gimbal doesn't topple over mid-use. Nevertheless, upon initial inspection, the quality is actually really good. We have that typical three motor gimbal design at the top, attached to a hand grip below. Nothing out of the ordinary there, but I'm happy with the quality I've seen so far. Bulky with rubberized sections for added grippability, the hand grip itself feels very comfortable in the hand thanks to its ergonomic design. The controls are conveniently placed by the user's thumb, with a typical thumbstick for making gimbal adjustments, power and mode buttons, a slider switch for recentering or locking the gimbal, although this is customizable, and small LEDs for mode and Bluetooth connectivity, all together and nice and easy to reach. On the left side we find a micro USB port used alongside the included cable to charge the built-in 2000mAh lithium battery. Unfortunately this cannot be swapped with any spares but it's rated for up to 12 hours of usage. The unit can even be used as a power bank to charge your camera or other devices thanks to the full size USB port alongside. A row of LEDs on the opposite side indicate battery power remaining, a nice little touch. Finally, alongside the charging port, we have an additional 3.5mm thread for attachment of accessories, namely a smartphone mount, which is an additional purchase, making it easy to control your camera considering most come with smartphone apps nowadays. And talking of the camera, just above we find the three gimbal motors stabilising the tilt, roll and pan axis. These connect to the camera bracket, where screws can be loosened to release the retaining bracket, and a GoPro or any similar sized camera can be held in place by tightening the retaining bracket back down. It is a little fiddly and not the fastest method to mount your camera, and I have to say it's not one that I'm personally a fan of, but saying that the lens does sit in the middle and it does provide unrestricted access to the camera's shutter and power buttons. Notice the mini USB port on the rear of the mounting bracket, which can be used to charge your camera once in place, not so useful with a GoPro mind since the charging port is covered anyway. With that said, a 3 second press of the power button readies up the gimbal and it's instantly ready for use, stabilising across all three axes, no problems there at all. The motors feel silky smooth and are practically silent in use. From here it's a matter of using the mode button to switch between different shooting modes which in turn unlock and lock different axes, depending upon your shooting style and the scenario itself, with the joystick being used to make adjustments even though the speed is not progressive. You do get used to the available options rather quickly and a handy LED flashes in sequence indicating your current active mode. Talking of modes, if you do get in a muddle, the slider switch quickly and easily re-centers the camera, a nice little feature. Of course the GoPro camera has an accompanying app, but by installing the gimbal's own app and after a very easy Bluetooth pairing process, users are able to control the gimbal itself remotely. Great when used with that included tripod, allowing us to change modes and move the camera around, configure a time lapse, calibrate the gimbal, even enter advanced settings to fine tune speed and trim the device. All really easy to use and very handy to have, no problems there at all. One point to note though, that slider switch should be customizable, although I couldn't find anywhere to do this in the app itself. Maybe something an update will bring in the future, but for now it's just used for the default recenter function. Nevertheless, when it comes to performance, as we would expect nowadays, everything worked perfectly well. It's actually really impressive. Like other handheld stabilizers, it can't do much about the up and down motion as you walk or run, but it still manages to iron out a lot to give you some really smooth footage. You'll still need to put some time and practice into thinking about how you want your shots to look in order to get really good results, but once mastered, you'll easily be able to pull off some really impressive projects. 
throughout use, I experienced no performance issues at all. It all works wonderfully well. You'll want to take some time getting used to the different modes so you can capture footage suited to your scenario, but they're quick to learn, making the system a joy to use. As it stands we have a really nice gimbal here. It performs well, it's comfortable with good battery life and the app connectivity functions perfectly well, even though that customizable slider control is missing at this time. Prices do vary but I have seen it for as low as $99 if you shop around, making it great value too. If you're after a comfortable hand grip design, along with a remote operation thrown in, but don't want to pay over the odds, then the iSteady Pro is certainly a good place to start.